living in the getting to know you section. I tried dolls, nothing, you know? So I was just trying to do the right thing, you know, because, well, I felt responsible. My family there, my son's there, got a set of good examples. And I'm not the most organized of parents, so I'll be the first to admit, you know? A lot of other parents seem way more organized. They ask me questions uh, to which I do not know the answer. Things like, uh, how old is your son now? And uh, I go, I don't know, 9, 13, 23, it's an odd number, I think. And, uh, Right now, I'm supposed to be photographing his sites of historical interest for his school history project, but so far, all I've got is this. Now, all that is, is a futile act of defiance, but it did feel good, I have to say. <laughs> While I was on the island of Orkney, I thought, I'll get something here, I'll get Neolithic settlements, standing stones, but a terrible childish compunction took over, and all I got was that. So, now, you've done the same. <laughs> this is now my passport photo, I'm quite proud of that. Um, when I drop my son off at school, the other parents are so much more organized. It's a different world, you know? They turn up and the kids are immaculate. The hair's combed, the blazer's pressed, tie on, two matching shoes. How do you do that? There's your lunch, organic couscous, and some wheatgrass juice. Thank you, Mama. And as they walk towards the school, they present them with a, a, a laminated agenda for the rest of their lives. And I turn up with my son, it's a different scenario. We're just scuffling towards the school, like, come on! He's wrapped in a dog blanket. <laughs> Held on with a strangler's lapel badge from 1981. I'm cracking open a glazed plug-in with a claw hammer and putting it in his pocket to get the smell of cat piss out of his blazer. There's your lunch, pepperoni and a Red Bull. There you go. All your food groups represented. Uh, his homework's on the back of a pizza box. I look down, he's only got one shoe on, so I draw a shoe on his bare foot with a marker pen. I've forgotten his hockey kit, so I'll give him a nine iron and an onion. There you go. Bag of Harry Bow and a sleeping bag, in case I forget to pick him up again. And, uh, we're returning the school hamster, which hasn't made it over the weekend. The cat's at it, so. We've made a decoy out of a scotch egg and four cigarette butts. <laughs> yeah. Put that right down in the cage, cover it up with straw. If anyone asks, it was like that when we found it. <laughs>